Cancer, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Cancer, this is an energy reading, not a horoscope. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, wherever Cancer influences your natal chart, you can apply these themes and energies for the next week or so. No dates on my videos anymore. It comes to you when it's supposed to, but I do make a Cancerian video every single week. So if you want them fresh off the press, click subscribe, ring that bell, and you'll get the uploads as soon as they're on YouTube. I always provide an extended reading. <coughs> that reading is a full tarot card spread that articulates these energies personalizes them and expands upon them and it also includes a romance specific interpretation reading <clears throat> for you guys you can check out the romantic tarot if you want a quick glimpse into what and who is coming toward you <coughs> i apologize let's get into your reading let's go cancerian cancerian i know this is just going to be a big surprise to me and the truth is this, I want to be surprised. There's this feeling in me right now that I don't want to know, but not because it's something bad, because it's something good. And I don't, and if I think about it too much, or if I thought about it too long, um, I would get worried and I might, if I knew it was coming, I it, it might actually, uh, uh, hmm. If I knew what was coming, it might actually make me think about it too much, make me worry too much, make me plan too much, and end up sabotaging myself. So a rebirth is assured, and this is parrot energy. You have two energies that are crowning your reading. Five, that spirit, which is change and transformation, as well as ascending from darkness into light, being in a cocoon-like state and waking up from it. Your wings are starting to spread, but then it's accompanied by watch your words in reverse. This tends to be, um, hmm, interesting. This tends to be, um, you ever heard that Sarah Barella song, let the words come out, say what you need to say, I want to see you be brave? That's this energy. Cancerians, you are finally getting a chance to say something to somebody that you never had the, the nerve or the courage or the opportunity to say. These were words that were stuck in your throat that choked you and that held you down that are now able to come out. These are communication that's finally coming from you or a communication change, something that you were denied that's now coming through, communications that are finally moving, finally being able to say or hear what you wanted to hear or say the words, especially, this is the crowning energy, especially being able to say things you never got a chance to say. This would have built up a lot of regret in you, a lot of sadness, maybe even a lot of bitterness things that you held on to for a very long time, you're finally over needing to please the person and now you're just saying exactly what you need to. This could be your boss, this could be your lover, this could be your mother, father, whoever it is, you already know who it is, you're finally going to get a chance, but not only get the chance, take the chance to say to them exactly what you feel. What do we do all the time, Cancerians? We choke ourselves up. We don't say what we feel. Instead, we pick up on what they want to hear, and that's what they say, and that's what we say instead. This is the no BS phase. This is you saying exact why? Because you're over caring about what the person thinks about you or about the consequences and fallout for being honest. You are being authentic completely and truly, and it is empowering you. We have a lot of cards that came up all in reverse. Let's go through them. Overcome any obstacle. This is something that's been sticking around for quite some time. This is Taurus energy, but it's the negative side of Taurus energy. So it's shallow. It's um, 
100% obsessed with money. It's stuck in its own ways and it's stubborn. So this is somebody with a sense of pride that is immovable and immeasurable. This is some, it could be Taurus, but this is a sense of somebody who uh, will not move, will not change. And it's almost like acknowledging and accepting that they will not move, they will not change. And you know what? It's not your fault and it's not your problem. This is sometimes life stings, wasp energy. This is um, getting stung or learning. This is killing the wasp, killing the pain. Remember what I said in the crowning energy? The pain isn't existing anymore. Whatever was bugging you, you're smacking it dead. This is the energy of it doesn't pain anymore. It's not, it's not painting. It's like you get where it comes from now. It's all around you, but it's not about you. This is your understanding of where the buzz was coming from, where the chatter was coming from. This could have been an onslaught of a bunch of really shallow people who tried to bring you down, tried to hurt you, tried to harm you, sort of an infection in the web, if you will, sort of, they could have been attacking you online. If you see this like worldwide website, but it, it's not that really, but that's sort of what it, it always speaks to me as this sense of chatter, chatter along the web, uh, people trying to bring you down, people trying to take you down, people trying to hurt you, people trying to get at you in subverted ways where it's never actually up front. It's always hidden. It's always in the dark, but it's like subverted. That could be what this energy is too. This sense of uh, digging at somebody in a subverted way, uh, being really stuck on themselves, being really stuck on their pride or being stuck in this environment of people trying to constantly get at you and say bad things to you. This is also in reverse. Um, lizard energy. So lizard energy in reverse is once again, um, um, it's uh, impulsive. It's irresponsible and it's self-serving. It's slimy and and it's it's uh it's um it's slimy and it's sort of on the DL. It's almost like there's like this like phantom or a shadow behind it. If you turn it upright, you can see that it's death. That it's um, something that is toxic, something that you're being warned against. But right now, it's disguised itself as something quite benign. Oh, we're just joking around. Oh, we're just playing. Ha 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 ha. This could be cyberbullying. This could be bullying in general. You, but listen, let me say this to you. You will know that it's happening to you because you'll feel it. You'll feel it. And you'll, you'll, you'll feel the vibes coming off the people. You'll see that they're double talking. You'll see that what they're saying is not really what they mean. Um, and they're basically making you the sacrificial lamb. This is the energy of giving too much to your, of yourself or being stingy, of not wanting to give anything for them, but making other people make all the sacrifice and taking everything that that everybody else has, like li literally making somebody else give up everything so that they can keep taking and taking. It's greed. It's gluttony. Um, so this is, this is some really not so good people that you're dealing with. Bear with me. Um, there is always enough. There is not enough. There are people hoarding things like, hello, are we talking about toilet paper? <laughs> But this is the sense of hoarding, um, hoarding or holding back emotions, not really letting your true emotions out, holding on to it, um, holding on to your emotions, not sharing it, not speaking, um, basically really being silenced, if you will. Um, and time for a deep dive. Um, this is love disappointed, sad, some, uh, something that hurt you and drained you. Um, something that's very manipulative and very spiteful, kind of like that toxicity that can come from romance, sort of being stuck in a bad romance for a long time, drowning in the romance, your head underwater, um, your head underwater and you're realizing, uh, you're, you're sort of realizing that you're um, head underwater, but it's almost like you can now see the fish. Being stuck underneath helped you realize something, helped you realize what was really going on. It's like you got insight because you were forced oh, oh, almost to submerge or submerged in this. You, you actually got some insight that they didn't expect you to get. Does that make sense to you? It's like they tried to stick your head underwater and drown you. 
They didn't know that you were Cancerian and you can breathe underwater. And instead you saw their underbelly and their underworkings, you know? Now, of course, this is all meta metaphorical, but this is in a way um, their own greed. And this always happens. Greedy people always end up eating away at themselves. So in a way, their own greed and their own need to keep going and get what they want and hurt people has sort of done them in because it's exposed exactly what's going on underneath. And it's exposed their greed. It's exposed that they're hoarding things. It's exposed that they're holding on to things that other people need. There's some sense of that exposure and you finding out about it. Now the energy starts to change. Learn from the past. So this could be all a memory for you, or this could be somebody like that coming back into your life, but you having the strength of character to know exactly what to do with them and to recognize them. This is you being able to move forward. It's a regal, it's such, it's such a more regal energy than this. It's almost like a more mature energy. This is Taurus energy too, but this is being above it, being bigger than it, and being strong enough to plow through it. People don't go messing around with elephants, not only because they're big and strong, but because they're also smart and they know how to handle, like they know how to think their way through as well as push their way through. This could also be somebody like a powerful figure outside of you coming in and recognizing it, like CIA come in and knock on the door, feds are at the door. Like it's like, it's almost like somebody that is learned, somebody that is higher than you has, has get, gotten wind of this. Um, and understands it and now that it's coming through it's it's like it's like there's protective energy here but I feel like this is outside of you um um yeah it's I feel like it's outside of you or it's you yourself having grown up enough and and remembering what you learned from these circumstances or situations and finally having the power and the wisdom to be able to articulate what's going on and what you've discovered. Now we're getting into your grounding energy. The miracles are endless. This is five plus one, which is the energy of six. So this is love and abundance and being chosen, being selected and um, being selected for happiness, being selected as somebody or being heralded as somebody who is invaluable and who is correct. In other words, the tides are turning where you were once. They once tried to like slur your character and make you look like a fool. This is you being redeemed, not only you being um, exonerated, but you also being heralded as um, a person who who it was responsible for helping this whole process along, helping, helping things get better, if, if that makes any sense. Skunk, know your worth. So this is, um, this is self, self worth and understanding that your value, um, without having to fit in or do, uh, hide who you really are anymore. It's like, listen, if I stink, I stink. This is my stink and you're going to smell it. But this is why you're being, you're being discovered. It's because you're, you're creating a stink, if you will. Cancerians, you're creating a stink and it gets people chattering and it gets people talking and it makes people realize what's really going on. Um, it's like you're, you're not caring what people think about you anymore. So you're calling out the stink that's in the room. And finally, it's going to come around to actually work in your favor, not only in your favor, but to really turn the tides for you. It's like you're bringing the stink out and being recognized as the person who was able to do it. You're the one that's going to say, I'm not taking this anymore. Um, you know, uh, you ever seen the Harry Potter movies, how in Harry Potter five, um, in order to, in order to hide what everybody was afraid of, um, they tried to make Harry Potter look like he was lying. They tried to make Dumbledore look like he was after power and greedy. You know, you, you try to attack somebody's character and assault somebody's character when they're saying things that will undo you or expose you. And this is kind of the energy that you're up against somebody who is real greedy, somebody who is real selfish, and somebody who will attack you with words, especially you could be dealing with a Gemini, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, you could be dealing with a lot of different signs, but there's a heavy Scorpio energy here, which could also just mean that this has been going on for a while. And this they thought they buried you. 
They thought you, they buried you, Cancerian. They, they thought they drowned you. They thought they suffocated you. They didn't realize you could breathe underwater. D stupid them. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they just played with the wrong person. And now you're back almost haunting them and making them sort of eat their own words and their own actions. This is the energy of surrender now. Um, just you, you, this is your grounding energy. This is Sagittarius energy. Uh, the energy of three plus nine is 12, which adds up to three. Body, mind, and spirit all aligned and in alignment, flying right into the thick of it, not being afraid of the flames, not being afraid. What did I say? You're not afraid of the consequences. You're not afraid of the stink. You're not being, you're not afraid of how people look at you. This is no fear. It's heading headlong into a circumstance or a situation and knowing it's for the good of all people. And I'm telling you right now, this is going to be, you're going to be recognized for it. People are going to get back on your side or finally come around around to basically say you know what we shouldn't have rejected you we shouldn't have talked to you like that we shouldn't have treated you like that like i said either exoneration or acknowledgement a redemption of some sort based on we threw we threw crap at you that we should not have thrown um you were actually really right here and we're happy that you didn't give up that kind of energy something that you've been working at for a really long time that you've been harmed with that you've been ignored by that you've gotten a lot of flack for is now coming out and um the tides are turning around they're flipping around and it's because you keep you keep speaking you you're you 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 use your words and you're changing the world. I don't know how else to say it to you. I'm gonna go into a deeper reading definitely with the tarot cards, but first let me flip this uh, camera around so that you can see the cards, hold on. Oh, I'm sorry, Gooby, I love you. I'm sorry, I just stepped on my puppy, hold on guys. So here's your whole spread. And I have to say, when I, when, as a Cancerian myself, when I saw that whole, um, that whole pile of cards fall out, upside down i was like oh god what is going on you know and this is what's going on there's a lot of subverted bs um there's a lot of history of deception there's also a lot of history of hurt and intentional harm that has been done to you um and people who have attacked you i don't know if it's on the web or has something to do with words writing speaking but this is about a kind of an onslaught of somebody's character or an attack against somebody's character because of greed, because people are greedy, plain and simple. And it's almost like you could feel it coming um, and they were like, they were starving. They were hoarding everything and then they were starving everybody else and just basically making a lack. They don't wanna play, they don't care about anybody else but themselves. This is really selfish energy and this is where the tide turns. You learn. It's like finally somebody is breaking through and seeing the truth about this whole circumstance or situation. And I really feel like it's sort of like a patriarchal figure or a matriarchal figure that is sort of cracking through and breaking through. Maybe it's your energy itself but this is definitely flying headlong into it maybe having been worn down so much or basically battle worn for so long you don't care you're not afraid anymore you you know that these people that once upon a time you thought you had to impress and be a part of or you had to be nice to you don't care what they think about you anymore you're saying exactly what you need to to them and you know what your words are moving mountains let me get a little bit deeper into this energy, Cancerians, to see where this energy is going to take us. And then I'm also going to do the romance reading as well. I love you guys. I'll see you in the extended.